Here's how to add an intervention in ARIES Part 2. Once you have either linked to an intervention referral or simply started a new intervention, it is time to fill in the details. It is important to note that the intervention page is used for both entering interventions and for entering an intervention meeting such as a TSS or SARB meeting. The date and grade will automatically be entered. Do not change either of these. Go ahead and select Change to begin editing the other boxes on the Intervention Details page. Next, enter the intervention code. This is the specific name of the intervention you are doing. This box is very important as it will be what feeds into the intervention dashboard for tracking purposes. You do not need to enter a meeting location. In the Disposition box, select the current status of the intervention to start off. Generally, it should start off as being in progress. As an intervention provider, you can always come back and change the disposition once you've completed the intervention. Also, you can enter if the parent declined the intervention or asked you to stop the intervention. This is important for documenting efforts to support the student. Next, enter a category. The category is the general area of the intervention, academic or social-emotional, or other areas. The level box will only be used for an intervention meeting, such as a TSS or a SARB, so you don't need to enter anything there. Next, enter the start date for the intervention. This should be the day that will be the first day you will actually begin providing the intervention. If you know an end date because your intervention has a very defined period of time, you can enter it now. If you do not, go ahead and leave it blank. Next, you can enter hours. However, this is not necessary and generally not something that you would do. Next, enter the provider. The provider is the title of the person providing the intervention. Next, enter the placement. The placement is where the intervention will occur. Next, enter the reason. The reason is the primary reason for doing the intervention. You can indicate whether translation services are needed and in what language the services are needed. The school and the person referring will be automatically entered if you have linked the intervention to a referral. If you have not, you will have to enter those manually. The status should default to not applicable. You can enter a status here, but it really is not necessary. Next, you can enter comments. These should be details that further describe the intervention itself and may include things like a schedule for the intervention, how much time is needed for the intervention, etc. Next, click Save. Now you can enter some additional information if it is pertinent to your intervention. You can enter this information in the tabs over on the left. The first tab is Stakeholders. Stakeholders should only be used for an intervention meeting like a TSS or a SART, so don't add anything here. The next tab is Goals. Goals is the place to add a specific goal for the student related to the intervention. Simply click Add New Record, enter a category in the first drop-down box, then describe the goal. You can add a target date for meeting the goal. Remember to set this far enough out in the future to allow the student to meet the goal. You can put any comments in the comment box. Then click the floppy disk save icon. If you started entering something, but want to remove it, you can simply hit the little circular arrow button that was there. 
You can then add any specific actions for the goal, but this again is generally for an intervention meeting like a TSS or a SART. You can add as many goals as you like, can edit them by selecting the pencil button, or change the status if the student meets the goal. Progress Comments is a place to add notes regarding progress. Simply click Add New Record. You can select a code and enter any comments. Be careful with your words though, as parents and staff can see your comments. Do not enter confidential information here. These should be general comments about the progress of the student. Don't forget to hit the floppy disk save icon. Next, you can enter meetings in the meeting tab. These are meetings directly related to the intervention. If you do not have a subsequent meetings regarding the student or with the parent or guardian, this is a great place to record those. Simply select a meeting type and enter the information you wish to memorialize. You can add any comments and any attendees that were present at the meeting. Next, go to the Prior Interventions tab. If you linked your intervention, you will notice that the prior interventions that were on the intervention referral are already present. If you need to add additional prior interventions, you can, or if it's a new record and there weren't any prior interventions, you can leave this blank. Next is Reasons and Concerns. Again, if you are linked, the reasons and concerns from the referral for intervention will show up here. Otherwise, you can enter your own simply by clicking Add New Reason. The same is true for the next tab, Student Strengths. The next two tabs, Additional Resources and Practices, are not needed. The last tab is Documents. Here you can upload consents, contracts, or other parent-related documents you wish to maintain. Simply upload the document file, preferably a PDF. You can also lock the document. A locked document can only be modified or deleted by the person who entered it. 